Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy and today I'm going to talk to you about the Big Tree Tech Manta M4P board and also the CB1 board for your printer. Now the main reason I have this board is to put into my Voron 0.2 I'm building. I want to put clipper on it obviously and Raspberry Pis are very hard to come by so this has the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi I'm using air quotes, built into the board right here as a separate module. Now this is Big Tree Tech's own separate module, they call it a CB1 module. It does pretty much everything the CM4 does from Raspberry Pi which is really nice. Plus it has a full featured motherboard for your printer. This is also going to be used as a drop-in replacement for a lot of Creality boards and other boards. It uses the same hole pattern that they have in the Creality boards and it fits into a lot of different printers. So if you're going to test out Clipper and you can't find a Raspberry Pi or a Raspberry Pi is you know, like 180 bucks, you can get this combination for less than $100 and this will give you a new 32-bit main board and also the Raspberry Pi and a very easy way to install a Clipper. This is where you connect all your stepper motors. These are for the stepper motor drivers and these are for your end stops. There are five different fan connections here, 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 and here. You've also got a jumper down here where you can select between 24 and 5 volts for these fans. There are automotive style fuses on this and here's all your power connections for your extruder, heated bed. You can actually put 48 volts into this to overvolt your stepper motors if you have those kind of stepper motors and also a 24 volt input. This is for the BL touch. This is for the thermistor for the extruder and the heated bed. There are two USB connections here and there's also a third one here. This is USB-C to power up the board if you don't have it hooked up to 24 volt power. And there's a jumper cap right here you can connect to use that 5 volts. This is for a full size HDMI connection. These are two inputs for the LCD display. You also have two different connectors here. One is for a camera input and one is for a digital display. These will only work if you use the Raspberry Pi CM4 module. These are all the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. This is RGB1, and there's also another RGB2 over here. And this is where you plug in the CB4 module or the Raspberry Pi CM4 module. This is the input for the SD card. I should also mention it has a full-size SD card, which is pretty cool. And it does have an Ethernet jack right here. Now on the CB4 module, there's not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. This is the processor for it, and this is where you hook up the Wi-Fi antenna, which I do have hooked up here. To install the module on this board is pretty easy. Like I said, there's just pins right here and there's pins right here. Match up the holes. This just goes in there like that. And then just snaps in. Now setting up this board really couldn't be easier. If you go to the Big Tree Tech GitHub page, and I'll leave a link in the description down below, they have a very thorough manual that explains how to set up all the stepper motor drivers and also they have images for both the, C the CB1 module and the board itself. All you have to do is uh, write those to an SD card, put them in over here, hook up power to the 5 volt USB connector right here as long as you put a jumper cap on or you can hook up 12 24 volts over here, flash both the CB1 module and the board and Clipper will be installed on both. And they also have a pre-made uh, printer.config file for this main board on here. If you also go to the Voron GitHub page, again, link in the description down below, they have a pre-built uh, printer.config file for the Voron for this board, which is awesome. So very easy to set up, fully documented, and uh, I'm not gonna go into showing you exactly how to do all this stuff because it is so well documented. Well, this is my Voron 0.2 made from an LDO kit and uh, I've got the Manta M4P board in there. I couldn't be happier with it. Perfect board for this machine. I'll spin it around and you can take a look at the installation on the back. So here's the board fully installed in the machine and it just fits back here but I'm really glad it did because again it really is a good board for this machine. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can take a better look. 
So like I said, this barely fits inside here, but it does fit well. Uh, these are all 2209 drivers I have hooked up to the machine, and these are set up for sensorless homing, which is pretty nice. Since this machine did come, the, the kit came with the what they call the peak umbilical, the hot end and a lot of the stuff up on the tool head is hooked up through a separate board, kind of like a, a, a CAN bus, but not really but that gives me extra openings for extra fans. So I have extra fans down here and I still have two extra openings, actually three extra openings for fans. I do have a fan hooked up to the, the module here with a cover on it. This helps keep all that nice and cool and that's hooked up to another uh, the GPIO pins here. This is hooked up to the peak umbilical, which again I mentioned is hooked up to the tool head. This is a camera that I have hooked up inside here. I've got the full RGB set going, both on the sides and on the tool head. Very, very nice. Um, I really couldn't be happier with this board. And if you get a Voron Zero, or even like a Voron 2.4, they make an eight stepper motor version of this board. This is awesome because again, you don't have to use anything other than this equipment. There's no separate Raspberry Pi board or a different type of board. All said and done, I'm super happy with this board. It does everything I've asked of it. Um, runs Clipper very well. It fit in with the Voron very well. Again, I've said it a bunch of times. Very well documented, very easy to install. Um, it really made a lot of sense for me to use this board, and I'm sure it's gonna make a lot of sense for you to use this board too. If you're building a machine like this, or you simply want to replace the main board in your printer and add clipper to it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.